But it's going to be a new look team this year, and it should be w uh, fun to watch them on the court. Uh, it's also going to be fun to get to know each one of them. And one thing Jay Crowder specifically wants fans to know is that he's as real as it gets. He opened up about the highs and lows of his journey to get here to Phoenix. <laughs> I always want to protect her and I always want to do right by her. So um, I just try to just be the best that I can be. Have you ever found yourself in a position trying to be the best for her and you're like, what am I doing? Yeah, if you look at my Instagram, I dressed up as uh, Willy Wonka one time. Uh, Willy Wonka and the Ch Chocolate Factory. That was her favorite movie at the, at the moment. And I, I looked at myself, look at those pictures like, oh my God, I would never do that. But I did it for her. <laughs> Jay Crowder is the ultimate girl dad. His daughter Jada's number one fan, just like his mom was for her son. She's my biggest fan. I always replay her voice of certain things, certain situations I, I find myself in throughout life. When she passed away from cancer in 2017, it forever changed his life. Crowder was traded from the Celtics to the Cavs that same night. I was able to whisper it to my mom before she passed. I'm out with her. Told her, um, we're going to Cleveland. And um, like five minutes later, she passed. A lot of people would have been happy. I'm playing, you're playing with LeBron James. You got a chance to play for a title. You know you're going to be there at some point. You know you're going to be in the playoffs. I didn't have any joy. From then on, Jay would start his journey from heartbreak to healing. I didn't want to play basketball. I didn't love it no more. I didn't. My heart wasn't in it. My mind wasn't in it. Basketball was second in my life for the first time in my life. I didn't really care. You hear it all the time, take it one day at a time, but I literally had to do that. Like, wake up, pray, and just have the best day I can have. And I think that ended up stacking days on top of days and it made me get back to myself. It was also the beginning of stints with five teams in four years. But Jay will be the first to tell you. It's all part of his story, his journey to becoming the man he is today and becoming a Phoenix Sun. I wanted something bigger than myself. I wanted to I wanted to be a part of something bigger than myself. I wanted to be a part of something special. And I felt like a 10 year drop in this organization, not being in the playoffs is, is a big accomplishment. And I want to be a part of that.